Hi, I'm Orvis Campbell, and I'm your Tuscarawas County Sheriff, here to speak to you a little bit today about the Leaders of Tomorrow Summit, taking place on March 4th, 2022, here at the beautiful Performing Arts Center on the Tuscarawas campus at Kent State University. I'm willing to bet that, like me, most of the people you talk to perceive a real crisis in leadership right now. A crisis that is revealed at greater, to a greater extent than normal, partially because of COVID and the current political strife. My own journey in leadership uh, starts with very humble beginnings. I'm from a very poor family uh, who went through a lot of things in my early years. And I spent most of my time as a, a young boy uh, perceiving myself as less than mediocre. I can assure you that it would have been very difficult for anybody to predict that I could play any role in community leadership back then. My change began on one specific day in junior high. Uh, a, a very wonderful teacher took that one day to invest in me, to pull me aside, to tell me that she believed in me, and then reached out to my family to tell them that she believed I had great potential. And almost overnight, I had a different perception of myself. That was one of my English teachers named Melody Libertor, and from that moment on, English became my favorite topic and I excelled in it throughout high school and college. As I grew up uh, even more, I was lucky enough to work for three bosses who went way above and beyond uh, than just the employee-employer relationship by investing in me daily with conversations, helping me structure my moral compass and develop the character that would be needed later uh, throughout my life. These three bosses were giants in the community. I didn't even know it at the time. I didn't know some of the very important things that they had done. What I, what I did know is that they cared about me. They sat with me, they helped me develop as an individual. The Leaders of Tomorrow Summit is designed to specifically help kids see their own potential. The Performing Arts Center has nearly 1,100 seats. We're asking each school to try to send half of their junior class and half of their senior class to fill up every seat here to, to realize that Every kid could play a role in future community leadership. Invite them in, invite them to this leadership circle to see themselves in a different light. Because the way I see it, every empty seat is a lost opportunity.